What's up, family? My name is Aaron McCluskey. I'm an executive coach. I work with executives on redefining success individually, as well as connecting performance and wellness. Uh, this is Mini Bites Session 54, and today's topic uh, is dressing up on the inside. So, a lot of us who are on this journey of personal development and self discovery, those of us who decide to let's say take things to the next level where we are constantly reinventing ourselves uh, generally those of us who are achievers where it's sort of never enough and we're always seeking one of the areas where we can really fall short is in this area of what i'm going to say dressing up means dressing up from the inside so we're really good about focusing on the external right we're really good about focusing on how I'm supposed to look, how I'm supposed to act, how I'm supposed to show up myself. In particular, when I do these videos, I wanna make sure that I'm showing up authentically, also powerfully. And so sometimes before the video, I have to actually do a little bit, um, some techniques, maybe some breathing techniques to really sort of uh, get myself centered and in place to carry a message. And you know, to be that clear channel to carry the message, so although that's sort of that I would call that more sourcing from within a lot of times I am focused on how do I look what am I dressed like what am I coming into this video looking like and that's not a bad thing that's a good thing but because I'm an achiever and because I'm a, I'm a performer I also have this uh, story that loops in my head that it's never enough and that actually serves me it serves me well sometimes because it helps me continue to uh, feel motivated by a sense of accomplishment it helps me continue to identify opportunities in my life where there are gaps and areas of sort of improvement so there's a lot of reasons why it's good to sort of feel like it's never enough the flip side is um, i can also be very hard on myself and i can also be judgmental of self and judgmental of, of others if i'm not really paying attention and so dressing up on the inside coming back to this what i'm really talking about is making sure that we're starting each day focused on the inside so we get up maybe we pick maybe you're one of those people you pick your clothes out the night before i sometimes can be that person i have a history of a fair amount of international travel and uh so it became very important for me to pack ahead and pack efficiently for my trip so yes sometimes i do set my outfits out the night before a lot of times i don't uh, but for those of us, let's say we pick our outfits out the night before, we decide how we're going to dress, we decide uh, what time we're going to leave, what time we're going to show up in the office, we decide what time we're going to start our first call, we decide what we're going to have for breakfast and put into our bodies, we decide who we're going to talk with in the morning on our way into work in the car, we decide who we're not going to talk with in the morning on our way into work in the car, we decide what we're going to listen to in the morning. We, we take time to make choices about what our external environment looks like from the very time our eyes open in the morning and we sit up in, in bed and, and we get ready for our day. So, so that's great. I mean, that's all really important. It's all really purposeful. However, in that, a lot of times we can forget about dressing up the inside. So what do I mean by that? And I, I share this occasionally. It's kind of not rocket science, but anything I share on these videos is not original content. What I share with you is what I have uh, learned myself along the way. So it's very important for me to share the things that I have learned in the various ways that I have learned them. So none of this is original content. So this was inspired by something I recently listened to on satellite radio. And the, the topic is around focusing on how we are talking to ourselves and why talking to ourselves is really it's important to be conscious of it and that's by dressing up the inside what i mean is how are we dressing ourselves up on the inside what are the things that we say to ourselves when we wake up in the morning when we wake up in the morning do we go right into that mode of focusing on the external or are we taking that time to focus on the internal? So I'm dating myself a bit, which I'm totally fine with actually, but there was a clip on Saturday Night Live called uh, Deep Thoughts by Stuart Small. No, nope, that's too, it wasn't Deep Thoughts. It was Stuart Smalley, something Stuart Smalley. The guy would say, 
you know, I am enough, I am good enough, I am beautiful enough, I am powerful enough. It was hilarious. I thought it was very funny at the time. Actually, there's really something to it. So some people call them affirmations. I prefer the word declaration. What declarations are you using? What declarations am I using in the morning when I wake up? I feel valued. I feel valuable. I am enough. I am strong. I am capable. I am resilient. I am grateful. What kind of, how am I dressing up the inside in the morning? I take time to put on a nice um, suit or a nice dress. I take the time to, you know, to wash my hair and style my hair and put on makeup. What am I doing to dress up the inside? And so really what today is about, it's a reminder for us to not forget about dressing up the inside with all of our focus on the external, which is really important and really useful. It's important to also just take those few moments, maybe even at the start of the day and wake up and making those declarations to self choosing from a variety of affirmations. You can Google them. You can see what comes up. I am loved. I am love. And maybe just taking those first few mo moments and, and, you know, dressing up the inside can really help set the tone for an empowering day where one feels that they are able to receive the gifts of the day. You're opening yourself up to receiving the gifts of the day by making those declarations. I love you all until the next time.